Hello, boys and girls. This is Grandpa from Grammy and Grandpa Read. Uh, we have a fun book today. It's called Mr. Fine Porcupine. And it's written by Fanny Jolly and illustrated by Remy Salyard. This is a book Mrs. Davis shared with us from her class. It's a scholastic book. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hope you can see all that. Hello, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Fine, Mr. Fine Porcupine. Perk up your ears and take a seat. I have a tale to tell. A point of tale of, about this here porcupine. Yes, that's me, Mr. Fine. The tale is divine and I don't take much time. <laughs> Once upon a time, rain or shine, I'd ride into town on this 10 speed of mine. Pedal, pedal, puff, puff. Then I'd arrive, the people would cry, Mr. Fine, Mr. Fine, prickly, stickly, porcupine. They'd run, they'd holler, they'd scream, they'd hide. <laughs> it seemed, no matter how hard I tried, I was a problem, porcupine. You see, my quills are tall and sharp. They stick straight up into the sky. But despite my odd look, I really, I'm a really nice guy. It's only my hair that doesn't abide. Oh me, oh my, such a big hair. Such prickly, stickly hair. My hair was a problem, a problem that grew. And one day when I felt especially blue, I went to the park and I caused a big mess, though I had never had thought there would be such a distress. A boy was blowing bubbles up into the air. I knew quite, that quite soon they'd be in my hair. He blew bubbles, his bubbles, up and up and up and up and up. And, all, and up they all flew closer and closer. If only he knew, pop, pop, pop. My prickly, stickly hair went and spoiled the day. I was always in everyone's way. You see, I had to do something, but don't you agree? My, What my hair needed was a flatten, to shrink, to calm, to smooth, to lose its kink. To fix it, I'd need lotions, a fine comb, and some spray. I brushed and I brushed and I brushed it all day, but something seemed to work on this big hair of mine. Brush, brush, spray, and even though I thought I spent so much time, <laughs> so the next day I bought a swim cap in a box. I thought it would help by hiding my locks because when you have hair that is so big and fat, one solution, of course, is to buy a big hat. No sooner did I put it on my new plastic cap than my hair poked right through. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> uh oh, you even got a fly. Right in, onto my dew, the birds ate the berries and gobbled the fruits. Did I miss a page? <laughs> I did. Well, I wouldn't give up. I had an idea. What a hoot. I'd cover my hair with berries and cherries and fruit. But down came some birds. The birds flew right onto my dew. The birds ate the berries and gobbled the fruits. But because of my quills, they lost all their feather suits. <laughs> my quills had plucked them down right bare. Now, I really had to do something with my big prickly hair. I could no longer stand to be different from the rest, causing trouble, always making a mess. Would I be, would I forever be alone? I would anyone understand me? I started to moan. And then one day on a whim on a lark, I decided to go back to that very same park. What do you suppose I should see with my eyes, but the biggest, the bestest, the most prickly surprise. She was pricking sticky flowers and oh, she was fine. 
her hair so tall and prickly, she was a porcupine. I couldn't believe my eyes. It was true. I was not the only one in the world who looked like I do. Is it love? Your quills are so lovely, she said with a smile. Let's sit on a swing and talk for a while. Well, we talked and we laughed on that swing in the park till the sun had gone down and the sky became dark. Then she asked me so sweetly to be her valentine. And I responded, of course, my dear. Won't you be mine? Oh, true love. So no matter what you think is wrong with your look or your style or your path, it is that you took, and it's okay if your hair is pink, short, tall, or blue. Someone will love you just for being you. And so ends this prickly story of mine. Being a porcupine's not bad. It's divine, especially for me and Mrs. Fine. Oh, what a happy ending for this porky, Mr. Fine Porcupine. Smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. And hope you have a great hair day.